Hey everyone, we are going to do front brakes on this Nissan Versa 2013. Put your parking brake on. Make sure it's on park. Also, we're going to do uh, front rotors. Make sure you put something behind your wheel, your tire, so that when you lift up the front, it prevents it from moving any. Okay, so before jacking up the car, gotta remove the hubcaps and the wheel and the lug nuts. All right, once you loosen up the lug nuts, all four of them, all right, when jacking up the car, you're going to do both sides at the same time. You want to center your jack. In this case, right below the, the uh, transmission link, uh, because that beam Back there is a little bit too far away to reach with the jack. You can do one side at a time, then you just jack it up from either side of the vehicle. All right, car's lifted off the ground. Now we can turn the lug nut. Okay, as you can see, I have already. I uh, replaced these about two weeks ago, uh, rotors and brake pads, but I didn't record it two weeks ago, so we're going to go through that process right now. Alright, you're going to need a 17 millimeter socket for the bracket to remove the rotor. And then you're going to need a 14 millimeter socket for the brake caliper. Alright, let's hope this doesn't move too much. Right. Oh, I almost forgot something. Okay, so forgot my bungee cord or any type of wire would work. So for right now, I'm sure this line, the brake line, doesn't uh, get pulled in any way. So set. Your caliper somewhere safe. I'm setting it on this beam here, the uh, arm. Okay, so it's time to remove the bracket. This is the bracket for the caliper. And right before you remove it, do you want to review the way that your pads are set in. For example, these have a bit of a pressure clip here. So you want to squeeze them and remove them from the little holes. Just hold on to them. Set them aside. Same thing for the one on the bottom. Set it aside. Then your pad, of course, slide outward. The outer one towards you. Put it aside. The inner one 
away from you. Put that aside. Okay, now we're ready to remove the bolts that hold the bracket. I had pre-loosened them before that. Right here you have the bracket. Set that aside. In this case, if you were replacing the rotor, you would remove the rotor and then replace it with a new one. The reason I had previously replaced my brakes was my rotors were uh, glazed and warped. The pads themselves were not that gone, but a little bit cracked, so I had to replace them. There you got some new ones. So now, now you do everything in reverse. Uh, bracket in first, bolt it on. Two things. If the rotor that you got does not have a factory line um, screw to hold the rotor in place. Just use a nut so that you don't get it dirty when when you're um, putting back the the bracket while you align it. And also, we're gonna grease up the prongs that go in here into the caliper. Also another thing, make sure you have a brake cleaner so you can clean off all the um, oil or grease that it comes with when you buy new rotors as well as dust off the new pads and spray your caliper bracket and caliper so here's the grease. This is just the uh, high temperature grease. And what we want to do is we want to remove these prongs here. One and then two. So you pull back the rubber. And you kind of turn. Wipe it on there, however you can, and then you just push it in, and that's it for that. There you go. Line it back on. Alright, then once your screws are on, your bolts are in, um, you start tightening. Alright, once your bolts are tightened, I'm going to get your rear pad, the one with the safety clip that lets you know when the pads are worn down, it'll squeak once they're touching, once the uh, clip is touching the rotor. So, I'm gonna just align it and clip it on. Insert and push. 
then don't forget your other spring um, rods. Make sure you insert them all the way in to those holes on top of the pad, the brake pad, as well as the one at the bottom. If we can get it. All right. So there you have it. Now, time to grab your caliper, bring it over, and in this case, that piston there, it will, if your pads were worn out, it's going to be sticking out a lot more than this. Um, let me show you a tool that can push that in, just in case you don't have it. Okay, so another thing I forgot to mention. Make sure you take care of safety and also have a jack stand under your car. So here's the brake caliper piston pushing tool. Um, so here's one. This one also works, a two clamp, but I've gotten used to using the simpler way. So you insert your old pads on here. You don't want to insert the new one to push this piston back in with your tool. reason for not using the new ones is you can damage them, crack them, or break them apart. And you don't want that because they're brand new. In this case, I don't have my old pads, so I'm just using anything that's a flat surface and you just turn the knob while holding the caliper with your other hand until the piston is all the way flushed in. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll show you once. Okay, so the caliper is flushed all the way in. And now we're ready to install. And it'll just go in right smooth. without even giving us any problems. Make sure you align everything together. All right, the pins got aligned correctly. Had to use two hands in order to push them in while setting the caliper into place. Now you gotta install, screw in your bolts. And then tighten. and also go through all the bolts make sure you tighten them up very well and now you're ready to mount your tire your rim your wheel all right once you snug tightly or snug them enough then you can lower the vehicle and before you put your hub cap back on you want to tighten these either with a torque wrench or just at you know your own strength not superman strength or anything like that just you know pretty tight so, all right. car's back on the ground this is a torque wrench Set it to the specifics written down below and go ahead and tighten. Make sure you center this 
um, loop here with uh, for entrance with the valve, the rim air valve, so you won't damage it. So, hope this helps you.